going on guys? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So today we have an interesting video for you. In iOS 16, Apple added the ability to control your Apple Watch in iOS 16. So this is a very niche case. I don't know why else you'd wanna use it unless your Apple Watch stops working, is unresponsive and all that, but there is now a way to control it directly from your iPhone. So let's jump right into it. It takes about three button presses in order to get there. Let's take a look at it. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Can you see any other use cases for this? Let's go. All right, so all you need to do once you unlock your iPhone, hop in the settings menu, go into accessibility, and then Apple Watch mirroring is right here. And if you slide this baby on, you'll see it'll pull up your Apple Watch and the exact display it shows it here by giving you a blue perimeter about the display, around the display. And then anything you want to do, you can click here and it'll automatically scale from your watch to your iPhone. Pretty cool as well. Same with the crown. If you tap it, it'll help you go back. You want to look at your stocks. You can see how pretty cool that is and where it would come in handy if you did not have um, uh, the ability to touch the display on your watch. So beyond that, you can obviously run through it as you typically would. Slide back, go through, and it works pretty well. This is all done through AirPlay mirroring, as you can see. Uh, again, like I said, I think it would be a very limited use case for this, but it's pretty nice to know it is available at any time. So again, all you're gonna do, settings, oops, accessibility, Apple Watch mirroring, and slide that toggle on. You'd be able to do anything you can do on your watch right on the iPhone. So again, if you wanna wiggle around and see what's going on, you can see there's a slight lag, but it is not bad considering. So if you want to jump into your settings in here, you can do everything you could do on your watch right on your iPhone. So yeah. Quick and easy video for you guys today. Let me know in the comments what use case you can find this useful for. Are you going to use it at all? Make sure to thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.